I am so boring, especially now because I am hiding in isolation trying to avoid COVID. But yeah, welcome. Maybe one day my videos will be more interesting, but probably not. Probably not. But I'm sorry, just probably not. But love you anyway. breakfast <clears throat> so gotta clear the throat just took this off my head so I don't look ridiculous but oh my goodness my stomach is making noise it is a little snowy out there but we're supposed to get more overnight <clears throat> probably enough that we could have school clothes and that would be perfect because then Everybody has to move the material they'd be learning tomorrow a day. Annoying for the teachers, but I know they like snow days too. But if I don't bring my kids to school tomorrow, then they have to make up the work. But if everybody's closed, everybody's just learning the work on a different day. So that's what I'm hoping for, even though it's gonna make getting to the dentist really tricky. I don't even know if they would close and reschedule me, but I've made peace with that. At least I'll get in there as soon as possible. But I don't know what's been going on with my neck. I know I lost a couple pounds, like three pounds. So maybe that's why I feel like I have too much skin on my neck. I just put lotion on there, but I feel like it's like really dehydrated or something. I think that's what it is. I need to drink more. You need a hat, okay, and gloves? Okay. Very cold. The mask will actually help keep your face warm if you wear it, but it's up to you. Right. Where do I? But what gloves do I wear? Whatever you find. Can I buy gloves? I think they're thin. Yeah, they're too thin. Just wear some of the ones we have in the bag because you can switch those out when they start to get wet and cold. Oh yeah, I'm only gonna be out. You won't be there for long. The snow is not fun to play with. It's powdery and there's hardly any. There's come, nobody out there. I'll come in and, and then we'll and then I'll, I'll take those ones off and let them dry and have a new pair. Okay. Oh Just stay warm. Don't stay out too long. It's so cold. I can't get to my watch ever. It's 28, so <clears throat> negative something. Maybe negative four or something. I don't know. Here we go. <sighs> but I need to work on charity squares. <clears throat> but I want to work on my stuff too, so we'll be alternating. I think I'm just dehydrated. Combo of dehydrated and quickly losing some weight. Their skin. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like with my skin. I have skin like this on my belly that you normally can't see, but I can like kind of smush it up from pregnancy because my skin had to stretch so far. <laughs> it's like it's weird. The whole gum texture. It's so weird. And because I'm like just sitting here, I keep seeing it, it distracts me when I'm supposed to be filming. <laughs> Drink more water, Stephanie. What the heck? Isn't that how they test if animals are dehydrated? If you can pinch the skin and it stays. Yeah, we're gonna drink more. We got some decaf tea. All right, happy Monday.
Hello friends. I am upstairs working. This is all bunched up <laughs> because as soon as I started working, Danny came upstairs and sat down with a snack and football, which is wonderful. Good for him. But that meant he had to have his mask off and football on. And I have work that they like up tomorrow. <clears throat> I need to stop drinking cinnamon tea. I've been drinking it all day and now my throat's like mad at me. But I want to get a little further before I go get something not cinnamony. And yeah, I just need to get this done. I'm just trying to have the masthead have a video, but I have a limit to what I can upload and it was too low res. So I'm just putting it here. It's like a drone shot, so it kind of moves when you mouse over it. It's a big fundraising page, so I think I'm almost done, and they need a slide on the homepage, so I'll have to do that too. But my battery drops so fast, and in order to save my battery life, it doesn't like to have it charged past 78%, so I started at 78%, and every minute it drops 1%, so I'm at 50 <laughs> I've got to hurry, but the way I picked up my phone is they close schools. I saw the email pop up. I was like, I'm about to get called and text and emailed on every <laughs> every single address I have. And yeah, the cell calls come in. I haven't gotten a home call, so we'll see if they do that one. But got the text. <laughs> But this is what I was hoping for, even though the snow is going to make it harder to get to the dentist. I did make my appointment two hours later, so I have to go at noon and that should help. And I just wanted the kids to not actually miss anything. So if everybody misses something, the whole county's closed, they won't have to make anything up. Oh, and I just dropped down to 49%. So I'm going to go back to work so I don't waste my battery. Friends, hello. It is, I don't know, just after 8. 809 and just took a nice hot bath so my hair is all sweaty so my natural waves are coming out but that was amazing sadly the humidity did not raise up in there it still says 20 percent, and that's as low as it says this morning it did say 21 percent briefly because we both showered and had to do with separate showers obviously but yeah, that went away real fast. I did not get to work on any of my own crochet, sadly. Because I was working on these. But these are what I told them I would get done last month. We were six short of a blanket in these colors. Me and another member had managed to make a bunch of squares in the same colors. So we worked on more of those during the meeting and decided we needed six more, so we are each doing three. I need to weave ends on this one. The others are done. I just went with normal green squares because that's fastest. I did do one of some other colors, so we'll see if I do any more of those. I don't know. I, don't, I think tonight I would like to work on my own stuff because I didn't get to do any at all around 2.30, I got an email from the dog rescue. They had sent some stuff Friday afternoon. I got one of three pages done Friday afternoon before the shit hit the fan. <laughs> and I told her, oh, things are a little crazy right now. They're really understanding. But at 2.30, she emailed saying, hey, can we do this one fundraiser page because I think we're gonna try to do a big thing for it tomorrow. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry that you've had to wait a couple days. I've just not been down at my computer. So I ended up bringing my computer up because as I said, Danny wanted to relax and watch his football and have a snack. I had just enough battery to almost get done. I probably could have done it, but it would have been like shutting down. So when I got below 20%, I went downstairs and plugged back in because Danny was cooking and about to eat at that point. It was six, a little after six. But yeah, basically I had to make the page and then 
some slides for their homepage slider and I also made the slide for the page I had done Friday because I hadn't made it all the way through the slide. I had made the graphics but not the slide. So I got all that done and that was great. I might need to revisit it because they have like forms for the donation that's generated through their service that processes them and they're kind of ugly. So I think I need to go in and try to beautify it if I can figure it out. It's always an adventure. You get a login from the client and you just have to go in and figure out some system. My hair, it's kind of looking like 2001 <laughs> with like the spiky bun. I washed it and put it up so it's probably actually really cool and damp and lovely. So that's gonna feel good when I let it down. My intention had been this afternoon to work on my braids and curl it and have it all fresh for the week. I'll be going out for the first time in public besides that little grocery trip to the dentist tomorrow and then to my meeting, my crochet knit meeting, common threads, Wednesday. But yeah, that didn't happen because of the work, but that's all good. Money is good, work is good. I love the dog rescue and I don't know, I think I talked about how I was trying to get a video to be in the masthead because they had some drone shots of the farm that they are featuring. But there's like a two megabyte upload limit and getting it under two megabytes made it look crusty and blurry and I just didn't look good up there. So I put a beautiful crisp screenshot up and then below it, we've got a smaller <clears throat> version of that video and it looks so much less crusty at a small size and you can just mouse over it and it starts to move, which is still a good effect. So I don't even know if I mentioned that to my client. <laughs> you might not notice it if you don't mouse over it or touch it on mobile, but yeah, that worked out, and then I made a quick dinner for Jackson and I because Danny was cooking shrimp for he and Sebastian. That was the day. I assume Danny is still in the guest room tonight. He has not retested because when we did our testing yesterday, he was like, I don't think I want to waste a test. They're like almost $8, and that's like a really good price from Walmart. Everywhere else, they were way more. He was pretty sure it would still be positive because his positive on Friday was so dark. It was so dark and Yvonne apparently just had COVID. We haven't seen him since before the holidays and he got it over Christmas. And he just kept testing and was positive for like 11 days or something. Good grief. So yeah, I don't know how he had that many tests, but we still have five tests left maybe from the $60 worth of tests we bought and I do have eight tests coming from the government because every now and then they release waves of tests and I'm the official order the tests for free person. I don't know why <laughs> Dan, Dan's like, you order them, you order them again. And so yeah, I don't know when they're coming. I didn't get any notice. I think Dan will eventually get notice when they're in the mail because he gets our postal notifications and I do not because only one person can get those. But yeah, I'll have to test tomorrow. But the schools are closed. So I, th I think what I was getting at is I think Dan is going to sleep separate but get up his normal time. He normally gets up at 6.15. So I get up at 6.15. 5.30 and leave the bathroom right before 6.15. It gives me 45 minutes to shower and dress and everything. It's usually more than enough and I'm out of there earlier than that. But I think I will go ahead and let him go first, but maybe wake up around 7, which he should be done by then, because normally on a school day, we head out the door at 7.02 to go to the bus stop. So I'll get up at 7 or wake up at 7 and get out of bed maybe at 7.30. I've got a test in the morning, but I'll have to just get ready and stuff first. I'm going to have to dig out my car unless Danny's feeling up for that. 
shouldn't be too bad. Looks like there's maybe an inch and a half on the car. But we're supposed to get like maybe three more inches. It's not a lot, but our county is very, very big. And out west, it's way more rural. So it doesn't get plowed or treated very well, like the roads. And often we are closed because of them. But I think even here, the neighborhoods are gonna be bad. I'm hoping that because I moved my appointment and they don't have to like leave the house till 11.30 that it'll, that maybe they'll have plowed. We, our HOA hires people to plow. So we'll see. I am facing the wrong way to go right onto the county roads. We have county roads through our neighborhood, two of them, and one goes beside our house, but I'm not facing that way. I have to loop around, so I do have to go through neighborhood roads. We'll see. We'll make it. I'm, I'm just thankful I've made it that far. I'm not looking forward to being at the dentist, but I'm, everybody seems to think that it's all gonna be better once they're in there. I can't imagine, because these are so awful. Like, how can it magically be better? I'm just never gonna eat again. <laughs> it's gotta be better, right? I don't know. So, I can feel the cement chipping away, and it's making me nervous. And I can't chew over there, because it's bad, bad, bad touch. So, I'm just ready for it to be done. <sighs> I'm just thankful that I've made it to that point. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna say goodnight because there's nothing much else that's gonna happen. I might give Sebastian a little more time or I might just see if he's ready to get ready. And yeah, since I don't have to get up early, I'll probably let myself crochet a tiny bit after he's asleep. Not quite as much because Dan will want to come in and use the bathroom, and I want to be out of his way and in bed by then so he can take his time and have the space. So, I think that's the plan. So, I need to leave Sebastian's room for like pretty early, which generally is easy right now because he doesn't, he's enjoying having the bed to himself because then he gets to roll all around in it. So I think that's why he didn't want me in the bed. My watch over here too won't charge. Probably just because it's rolled. Yeah, he I thought he was he wanted to like spread it out or something. Or he's feeling all grown up and didn't want me to sit with him. No, it's because he wanted an excuse to sit on the edge of his bed and bounce and roll around instead of settling and being cozy and calming down. So we're gonna have a little talk that video time is for calming down, not for being a maniac and jumping around on the bed. But <laughs> being on the floor, like I tried to sit on his chair, ouch. Then I moved to the floor slightly better, but still ouch. So I should get out of there pretty soon and have a little bit of time to crochet. Anyway, I'm gonna say goodnight. Thank you for watching if you're new here and you made it to the end of one of my videos. I am shocked because I am so boring, especially now because I am hiding in isolation trying to avoid COVID. But yeah, welcome. Maybe one day my videos will be more interesting, but probably not. Probably not. That's, I'm sorry, just probably not. But love you anyway. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.